<laughs> it's you that I see. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. <laughs> it's you that I see. In the midst of the storm, Jesus, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. When everywhere is dark, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Up. 
Father, I want to thank you again for guiding us together in our different homes for this faith clinic. Thank you because each time we gather together, you are always in our midst. And each time we call upon you, you always answer us. And we know you are going to answer us again this evening. Take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the adoration in the name of Jesus. That is the one thing we pray for. Every prayer that we pray tonight, answer by fire. And let your name be known, be glorified. And very soon, let there be testimonies all over the world, even in our own families. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. If you are here to call every member of your family together, to watch, kindly do so now because we are about to pray 
fervently, and I know God will answer our prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Shall we all be seated wherever we are? It is still our month of above limitation. It is still our month of above limitation. And this evening we'll be speaking on divine help. Divine help. Divine help. Brethren, the period that we are in now, I believe what we need is divine help. Because... Our power, our ability, everything that we can do, we are doing, we have done, but we still need God. For without Him, nothing will happen. But within, we know something good will happen to you and I in Jesus' mighty name. Divine help. Our Bible verse is taken from Psalm 121. Okay, let's read from 1 to the end. So that we can have the understanding. Psalm 121, verse 1 to 8. And I will read, you can read along with us. I will lift up my eyes unto the east, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy food to be moved. I believe somebody should say amen. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth his stress shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smile thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. I believe I need a powerful amen there. It shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's a Bible passage that is full of promises of our God, especially for a period like this, a period of unknown pandemic. Sudden pandemic, something that nobody was even expecting, something that even all experts, they have tried, they have done everything. See, they know that there's somebody that's supposed to intervene. And who is that person? And I know it will intervene in Jesus' mighty name. The psalmist says, I will lift up my eyes unto the east, from whence cometh my help. Meaning what? I have tried everything. I have done what I can do. If you read that Psalm 120, the latter part, he said, I am for peace, but they are for war. That's what Psalm 120, the last verse there. He said, I am for peace, but they are for war. I love peace. Like our daddy said, peace that passes all understanding is supposed to be our portion. And it's going to be a portion in Jesus' name. But there are people, they want war. The more you say you want to maintain your peace, you want to be happy with everybody, but they said they are for war. And he now said, in Psalm 1, 2, 1, verse 1, he said, Therefore, I know, I remember, my strength can fail me. My power can fail me. I don't have any authority of my own, but I will not lift up my eyes unto the east. Whence cometh my help? I will look unto God. I'm not looking unto anybody. People around me have failed me. They have disappointed me. They have nothing too, too good to offer. But I will lift up my eyes unto the east, from whence cometh my help. There's nobody to help if God does not help. And like I used to tell us, you can take all the supplements. Without God, it, will, it still not work. So I've been done hard. That's why our doctors will say, we care, but God do what? In fact, 
That word is even coming to a, a reality now that is only God that can hear. Doctors can try, they can try, but the healing will only come from God. We thank God for the life of our doctors. They have tried, they are still trying, thinking, researching. What else can we do? How can we do it? What can we use again? Many what? They still trust in God. For without God, they can do nothing. No inspiration without God. If anything is working at all, God will have put it in their spirit and say, let this thing work. God will intervene in Jesus' mighty name. So that is why this evening we are talking about divine help. This is a period to look up to God for help because it's the only solution to every problem. It's the only remedy and it's our greatest physician. And I know it's going to intervene in Jesus' mighty name. Why am I so sure that God will help? Or help will come from God alone. Number one, number one, our God created the heavens and the earth. So he has all the power. He that can create the whole world and the whole of the heavens, everything in heaven and on earth, Created by this our God, what else can he not do? So that we therefore need to look unto him so that he will help us. And I know he will help somebody in Jesus' name. So he has power to solve every problem, to heal the sick, to deliver the oppressed, to set the captive free, and to bless everybody. Why am I saying so? That he has power because he created the heavens and the earth. Psalm 62 verse 11 says, once God has spoken. Psalm 62 verse 11, once God has spoken. Once, twice I have I heard this, that power belongs to God. So he has all the power. I am very sure if you can look up unto him, no matter your need, be it spiritual, physical, financial, material, marital, he will intervene and he will do something. Let somebody say, I need divine help now. Hallelujah. Number two reason why I know we need divine help. Our God is always wide awake to see and know what we are passing through. That's number two. Number one is he created the heavens and the earth. So he can do all things. So therefore, we need to look unto him. Number two, he's not, he didn't just create you and I. He is wide awake to see and know what we are passing through. No matter what we are passing through now, he knows. Why not call unto God? Especially in this lock, lockdown that they even told us, don't allow your family members to come. Don't allow your loved one to come and greet you. They're on your own in your room. Ah. One day I say, there's no other solution other than God. So we better look unto God. Because it's only God that cannot reject you now. When families are coming and say, hello, sister, should I come and greet you? Stay at home. I don't need you now. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. But our God that we serve is wide away, two, four, seven. He knows what we are passing through. Psalm 23, verse 4. Psalm 2, 3, verse 4 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. He's with you 100%. He's not dozing. Everybody can say, I don't want to see you, but God is saying, I am standing by your side. Therefore, look up to him, and I know. He will come down and help in Jesus' mighty name. Verse 5 of our Bible passage says, He that keepeth thee will neither slumber nor sleep. That is my number three. Three, why I know we need divine help. He is our protector. He is our protector. He has promised to protect us. And he will protect us from every war and every danger and every form of pandemic in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 1. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, 
he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So my help will come from him. Not from anybody, not from anything, but from God alone. Because he's the one that can overshadow me, especially now. And because I am a child of God, I am dwelling in the secret place of the most high God. Therefore, he will cover me and you under his umbrella in the mighty name of Jesus. So he's our protector. So when we look out to him, he will send help. And I pray this evening, he will send help to you and I in every area of our lives in Jesus' mighty name. On your own, you can read from verse 15 downward to 17. And you see all the promises that he has given us there. That behold, they shall surely gather together, they are not by me. He said he has created everything. Meaning what? He knows about the virus around. And he knows how to handle the virus. I know he doesn't take God. Anytime God wants to move, do you know he doesn't take God a whole day to clear the virus? Medically, they said, hey, the only thing that can cure it is eat, eat, eat. Do you know God can send ray and wipe away the virus? Just one ray. Because it's the almighty God. And I know, however he will do it, he will do something in Jesus' name. And no evil will befall you and I. Because he said, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Every thought is against us in judgment we shall Condemn, nothing shall by any means or toss in any area. Nothing. Because he's our father. So why not look unto him? Divine help. Help of our destiny. And I know he will help us in Jesus' mighty name. How am I sure? He promised to preserve us from all evils. And he will preserve you and I in Jesus' name. He said, you're going out, you're coming in, I will preserve you. Meaning what? Even in this pandemic, all of us that are moving out from one place to the other, especially those that are working in the hospitals and clinics, the presence of God will abide with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. He says, he will preserve your going out and your coming in. So no virus will come near you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So all our doctors, all our nurses, all our metro, be rest assured that the presence of God will overshadow you. In the name of Jesus. Divine immunity is your portion. In the name of Jesus. Number four. He has promised us long life. Hallelujah. Verse 16 of that Psalm 91. says, with long life will I satisfy you. So, don't be afraid. He has promised us long life. Daddy Gio said it all. He said, unless it is your time, my children, come on, cool down, calm down, relax. Unless it is your turn, you are not going to die. So, say to yourself, I shall not die, but leave to declare the words of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, say it again, I shall not die, but live to declare the words of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, one more time, I shall not die, but live to declare the words of the Lord in the land of the living. In Jesus' name, let somebody shout hallelujah. So he has promised, he said, with long life will I satisfy you. So don't die before your time because of fear. Because, frankly speaking, fear has caused a lot of havoc, especially during this pandemic. Somebody do, do not have anything, but because you are coughing a little way, you say, hey, hey, is it not coronavirus? Like I, I, I put out to some people, a little child that did like this, somebody will not cough now. If you should call, they will be looking at you coronically. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Somebody shouldn't cough now. If you call, they look at you coronically. 
can see you have coronavirus. Somebody should not sneeze. If you see it before, they say, bless you, sir. If you see it, sir, everybody will just run away. And say, oh my God, I want this in this. Praise the Lord. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. What am I trying to say? He has promised us long life. Don't kill yourself. Don't allow fear to terminate your life prematurely. And God will help us in Jesus' name. And when fear is coming, look unto God. He's your helper of destiny. He will help in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. However, beloved, if you are not genuinely born again, there's no divine help for you. You will cry and cry. He will say, I, I cannot hear the cry of a sinner. But I congratulate you wherever you are watching. A sinner can become a saint this evening. If a sinner can turn to God, he will save you. He will cleanse you with the blood of Jesus. He will write your name in the book of life in the mighty name of Jesus. And you be a child of God. So wherever you are watching, bow down your head and just say, Father, show me mercy. In every area that I've seen, show me mercy. On Tuesday, we are digging deep that we are in the last days. Many of us, we have even basically dead. You had it on Tuesday. So you need to reconnect back to your maker so that he can accept you back like a prodigal son or daughter. And I know he will accept in Jesus' mighty name. So as you are praying, the Lord will answer your prayer and write your name in the book of life in Jesus' mighty name. Now, it is time to pray. And I want you to be on your feet wherever you are watching us so that we can pray together. Alive, alive, my Savior is alive. Alive forevermore. Your sin, God, that is gone. And in it, I have eternal. alive forever. About a week ago, we celebrated this resurrection. Let's go ahead and just give him glory. Because it's alive. It's alive. It's alive forever. About two weeks ago, we celebrated him. Let's give him glory, honor. Let's give him adoration. Because it's alive forever. That is why we are alive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Because forever you are the Lord. You are still alive. 
We are not serving a dead God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Let us go ahead and thank God because it's, the Lord, it's, it's because of his mercy that we have not been consumed. His mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. Less for the dead, we will have wiped away the whole generation. But God in his mercy has spared you and I. Let's give him glory for his mercy that is enduring forever. Father, we thank you because your mercy endures forever. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let us thank God for those people that are sick, but by now they have been delivered. They have been set free. They have asked to go back to their different homes. Let's celebrate Jesus in their lives. It is not by power nor by might. They said there's no mercy. See, God is healing them. Let, let's give him glory. Because we can see it's only God that is doing the work. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing all your children. Thank you for so many testimonies we have had from all over the world. Blessed, 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 blessed be your name. Let's thank God for what he will still do. Our daddy Gio told us on Sunday that joy cometh. Joy is coming, and we believe this is coming to an end. He has said it, and the, the, the Almighty God has backed it up. That very soon we are going to shout hallelujah, giving glory, giving honor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. We are not taking your love for granted, because this also will pass away. Blessed be your holy name. Because joy is coming, joy is coming, joy is coming. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Bible says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Let's still, let's still cry for mercy. As an individual, as a family, as a church, on behalf of our nation, on behalf of the whole world. That, oh God, in any way that we have let you down, in any way that we have failed you, please have mercy upon us. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray. Heavenly Father, we cry for mercy. Your word say your mercy endure forever. Have mercy upon us, Lord. As an individual, have mercy upon me. As a family, have mercy upon us. As your church, have mercy upon us. As a nation, have mercy upon the entire world. Have mercy. In wrath, remember mercy. In judgment, remember mercy. In your anger, in your fury, remember mercy. In any other that we have failed you, in any other that we have disappointed you, in any other that we have gone astray. Ah, look at the digging deep. Many pastors are joining gay together. Lesbianism, they join them together. Homosexuality is so rampant. Oh God, show mercy. Boko Haram, here and there, ask men. Killing of pastors, innocent people, persecutions all over the world. Baba, show mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. The love of many are wasi cold already. Show mercy. Every sin of lukewarmness, every sin that we are committed, prayerlessness, every sin of not bearing fruit. Have mercy on us, Lord. Show forth your mercy. Forgive us all our sins as an individual. As family, as a church, as a nation, and the whole world, we cry for your mercy. We stand in the gap in our different homes tonight. We are crying for your mercy, oh Lord. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want us to pray this one powerfully. We have spent like four weeks now at two. About four weeks at all, if I've, if I've not, if I calculate very well. But in the four weeks, have we really prayed very well? That the Jew was telling us in the workers' meeting that we need the power of Holy Spirit. That we can speak in tongues, even for one hour every day. How many of us have started? Let us cry to God and say, Father, beginning from now onward, let your spirit, your Holy Spirit, assist me in my prayer life. In the name of Jesus. I don't want to pray amiss. I don't want to pray just for praise sake. I want the Holy Ghost to guide me. Holy Spirit to guide me at all times. That when I open my mouth, the Holy Spirit himself will fill my mouth. That I will pray the way I ought to pray. I will ask for what I need to ask for. I will pray and write and not amiss. Holy Spirit, help me to pray. Help me in the place of prayer. 
I will not be a prayerless Christian, even after now, in the name of Jesus, that your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Our topic, don't let us forget, divine help, so that we can live above limitation. We are going to look up unto God and say, Father, I look up unto you. Please help me. I need help. In the name of Jesus, help me and heal me. Help me and deliver me. Help me and set me free. Help me and give me victory. I need help, oh Lord, please help me. Which area do you need help? Why not cry unto God for that thing that you need from God? Father, I need your help. You are the only one that can help me. Help me and solve all my problems. Help me and destroy the plans of the devil concerning me and my household. Help me, O oh Lord. I need help. Help me and heal all my sicknesses and diseases. Help me and deliver me from principalities and powers. Rollers of darkness of the world. See, ritual wickedness in high places. The Bible says we rescue against these forces. Oh God, help me and deliver me. Help me, help me, help me. I need that. I look unto you. Help me. Help power of my destiny. Help me. I need that. I will look up unto the east. I will lift up my eyes unto the east. From west come out my hair. My hair come out from God. Who made the heavens and the earth? Help me. My creator, help me. You are my father. There's no other father. Help me. You are my savior, there's no other savior. Help me. You are my healer, there's no other healer. Help me. You are my deliverer, there's no other deliverer. Help me. You are my controller, there's no other controller. Help me. You are my protector, there's no other protector. Help me. You are my provider, there's no other provider. Help me. Help me. Help me. You are the only one that can fight all my battles. Help me, Lord. I need them, oh Lord. Spiritually, I need them. Physically, I need them. Financially, I need them. Materially, I need them. Maritally, I need them. Help me, Lord. Even in this lockdown, help me, Lord. I need them. Show forth your face where I cannot cry unto anybody, where nobody is ready to assist me. I need divine assistance. I need divine assistance. Divine assistance in every area of my life. Divine assistance spiritually, physically, financially, materially, maritally, psychologically, academically. Oh God, help me. I will not be a failure in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not be a bad story to be, for people to read. Help me, Lord. Help me. 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 Help me, I have come unto your presence again. I have come unto you again. Help me. Help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. My helper, help me. You brought me to this world for a purpose. You ordained me for a purpose. Therefore, Lord, help me. Divinely 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 help me. I need the Apollo. I need the Apollo. In my home, I need them. In my family, I need them. Concerning my health, I need them. Concerning my finances, I need them. Oh God, help me. Help me. Help me. My help, oh. My help. My help, oh. My help. Ah, there is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. Eh, 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 there is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. My helper. Oh. My helper. Presence, 
my help. God will send up unto us Amen. in every area of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to cry for divine help concerning our nation, Nigeria. I heard that situation is around 500 now. That God will put a stop to it. We are going to look unto God, the original one that can help us, and cry unto God and say, Father, Father. help us and heal our land. In the name of Jesus, help us and heal our land. Heal all your children that are sick all over the world too. Help us and heal the world. Heal our land, beginning from Nigeria, Lord. Help us and heal us. Oh God, divinely help us, divinely intervene. It started with just one person. Later we had 10, later we had 20, later we had 40, later we had 70, 100, 200, now about 500. We need them. Oh God, help us. Intervene, oh Lord. Divinely intervene the situation of this country. Have mercy, Lord. So forth your mercy and send them to us. Send them unto us. Send them unto us. Send them unto us. And heal all your children all over the world. Let us cry to God. Father, flush out every form of virus, every form of sickness, every form of disease by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, help us, O Lord. And flush out anything called virus in the lives of all your children. Anything called sickness and disease, flush out, O Lord, by the power and the blood of Jesus. Put an end to this pandemic, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, that your name alone will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. You now cry to God again and say, Father, make us all again. As an individual, we need wholeness. As a family, wholeness. Even as a church, make us whole. As a nation, make us whole. All over the world, make us whole. All what we need is wholeness. Wholeness, wholeness, wholeness. Wholeness, oh Lord. Divinely make us whole. Divinely make us whole. Divinely make us whole. In the name of Jesus, make us oh Lord. As a nation, oh God, heal our land. And make us whole again. Make us whole again. In the name of Jesus. That the name of the Lord will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Some people don't know how they are going to hit even this evening. They are like, they said we should not go out. Nobody can come to us and we cannot go to them. And there's no food at all. No work to do. Therefore, they are like, oh God, whatever will happen, let it happen. We are going to look up unto God and say, Father, all the hopeless children all over the world minister to them, minister to all their need in the name of God. Let's cry unto the Lord. Many of us, we have, in fact, if you want to eat 10 times in a day, we can eat. But not now. Some people are suffering. Divide the food and bring it uh, unto others that I need. Give to others that I need. Oh God, minister to all the need of your children. Everyone trusting you for daily need. Minister to them, Lord. Help out of destiny. Help your children. Divinely locate them. Divinely locate them and assist them. Divinely locate them and give them bread to eat. Water to drink. In the name of Jesus. Minister to every need. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. The Bible says, how are the mighty fallen? And the weapon of warfare are waste. See how many weapons of warfare that are wasting. Mighty are fallen. Even in Nigeria, can you imagine? We are going to cry to God. That almighty God will show forth his mercy. That our economy will not collapse. In the name of Jesus. God will restore our economy. All the people that are losing it right now, they begin to make it. In the name of God, let cry unto the Lord. As a church, as a family, as an individual, that God will survey. We need divine help concerning our economy. Our economy will not crash. So if our economy should crash, ah, a lot will happen. A lot will happen. A lot will happen. It will affect everybody. Let us pray. Let us cry to God. That God Almighty will help us. Divinely help us. 
that our economy will not crash. Our economy will not crash. You will lift up our economy again. You will intervene concerning our economy. Oh Lord, things will not go bad. Oh, things will not go bad. In the name of Jesus, you will divinely intervene concerning the economy of Nigeria, economy of the whole world. In the name of Jesus, that the name of the Lord will be glorified. We will pray so. We will pray so. We will adore you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to pray another prayer. We have prayed before. I want us to repeat the prayer. And say, Father, your son has declared on Sunday that joy is coming. However you will do it, whichever way you will take, put an end to the pandemic in the name of Jesus. Put an end to coronavirus. However you will do it, your son has declared, oh Lord, unto us on Sunday, that our joy is coming. Therefore, Lord God, put an end to this pandemic. However, whichever way, just put to an end in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Daddy said something again, if you listen to him very well on Sunday. He said that after the pandemic, don't forget to give him the glory. Meaning what? Not that. <laughs> Our Niger. We are powerful in Nigeria. You are not powerful. It's God that is powerful. It's God that is ending it. And we believe in that God. So all the glory should go back to God. Let us now go back to God and say, Father, the grace never to share in your glory. Release upon us in the name of Jesus. We want to jubilate. We want to celebrate. Giving you all the glory at all times. In the name of Jesus. So that this pandemic will never, never come back. In the name of Jesus. Help our even government. Our government will give you glory. In the name of Jesus. All over the world. Let them know you as the almighty. Let them serve you alone. Let them know you alone. Let them right the wrong. In the name of Jesus. Let them begin to put right everything that they are doing that is wrong. Let them begin to right the wrong. In the name of Jesus. I give you all the glory to know you as the Lord Almighty. And return the glory unto you. Because the Bible says, not by power, not by mind, but my spirit is here, the Lord of hosts. In the name of Jesus, take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the adoration. Blessed, 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 blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want us now to begin to soak ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Every member of your household begin to soak everything with the blood of Jesus. Every environment, the blood of Jesus. Everywhere we find ourselves, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Everywhere we go, everywhere we find ourselves, the food we eat and the drink that we take, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. My husband, my children, my family members, the blood of Jesus. The Church of God, the blood of Jesus. All your children all over the world, the blood of Jesus. 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 The Bible says no way perform against us, we prosper. Every time it's against us, enjoyment, we condemn. Let us come against every evil, every arrow, every attack. Oh, yeah, battle your sender. Battle your sender. Battle your sender. Harrows in the night. Harrows in the day. Harrows are not time. Whoever, whatever, whenever, however. Go battle your sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Go battle your sender in the name of Jesus. Every arrow, every attack, every gunshot, every arrow of sickness, arrow of disease, arrow of death. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. On this altar, I declare and I declare any arrow, any attack. What are you waiting for? At the name of Jesus, every nation bow. Arrow of sickness. Oh yeah, we command you. Oh yeah, halt in the name of Jesus. Halt in the name of Jesus. Halt in the name of Jesus. Arrow of poverty. Arrow of sorrow. Arrow of pain. Arrow of fear. In the name of Jesus. Mama Zanta Karabaka Holy Amasende. Every arrow of fear. Oh, yeah, go back to your sender now. In the name of Jesus. Arrow of sickness, arrow of disease. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. Every arrow, go back to your sender. Arrow of affliction, go back to your sender. Ah, on this road, I stand on the rock of ages. In the name of Jesus. And I cast out every demon of assignment. Concerning every family. Represented the national assembly. And the whole of Lagos province too. I say, Capital, no. In the name of Jesus. To any form of or satanic attack, it will not prosper, it will not prosper, it will not prosper in the name of Jesus, that the name of the Lord be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Hallelujah. I 
after now, our daddy said, I see believe in his word because he's the servant of the most high God. That very, very soon, this thing is coming to an end, particularly in Nigeria and all over Africa. Then let us appreciate God in advance. That is the Almighty. Is the King of all kings. Is the Lord of all laws. Is the one that can cure any disease. Is in charge of everything. Is the I am that I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hosanna, glory be to God, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hosanna, glory be to God, Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hosanna, glory be to God. Are going to congratulate us Amen. in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we can never thank you enough for your love and your mercy, your goodness, your kindness, and your favor. Blessed, blessed, blessed be your name. Thank you for everything. Thank you for answers to prayer. Take all the glory, Lord. Even we go in this our might. And we are unstoppable. We are about limitation already. Because we have you as our helper. And you sent help unto us divinely. And you have done it. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let's please pray for our beloved mommy, God has used for us, that God will fill her afresh, God will renew our strength, God will send helpers of destiny to her as well. Divine help from above will never be lacking in our life, in our ministry, in our hope, in our marriage, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. We pray for your daughter. Please renew our strength. Please fill her afresh. Send that help in every area she needs your help. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We bless your holy name. Father, we thank you for the work we've had this evening. We pray, oh Lord, by your mercy, we send help. That person crying unto you for help. Father, this very moment, open the door of help in the name of Jesus. Touch the hearts of men to bless him. Touch the heart of men to bless her. That student that is about to drop out because of lack of funds, the Lord sent help to you in Jesus' name. That person finding difficult to pay your hospital bills, God will send help to you in the name of Jesus. That person who is an orphan, who has no help, you look left, right, center, nobody to help you, the Lord will adopt you in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, I pray in this season, please help Nigeria. Father, help Nigeria. 
Help us, O oh Lord. We know we cannot help ourselves. We are limited in power. We are limited in wisdom. We are limited in resources. But God, you are not limited. All power belongs unto you. You own all things. Father, please send help to us. Help us as a nation. Help us as individuals. Help us as churches. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. For we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Let's bring our offerings. Let's package our offerings. And wherever you are connecting to us, package your offerings. If you are paying by online payment, please look at the account details being displayed on the screen and pay through that account. If you are not paying online, you are paying cash in your home, make sure you package it very well and make sure you keep it aside because it's already dedicated to the Lord and the Almighty God will bless you. We will not miss your reward in the name of Jesus. Shall we give our offering cheerfully rejoicing? Even if you are alone in your sitting room, make sure you dance to the Lord because God loves a cheerful giver. Before wonder, 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 wonder. I never see this guy go before. Wonder, 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 wonder. Wait till they do me, they make me wonder. Wonder, 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 wonder. Wait till they do me, they make me wonder. Wonder, wonder. Jesus now. Wonder, 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 wonder. Father, with all humility, we present our offerings, representing the ones being paid online and in our various homes. Please accept us and our offering and bless us in return. Father, by virtue of this offering, send help to us. Financial help, spiritual help, Marital help, academic help, divine favor from all over the world. Release unto us. Keep us safe from every evil, from every danger. In the name of Jesus, we shall suffer no loss. No loss of lives, no loss of properties. I decree in the name of Jesus. In the family of everyone connected to this mission, there will be no fire disaster. In the name of Jesus. There will be no corona infection. In the name of Jesus. Only shouts of joy will, will come from our tabernacles. With our eyes, we will see the evils of the, of the wicked. We will not partake in it. Thousands of people around us, we will not fall with them. We will be numbered and no one will be missing. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's quickly take a few of the announcements. By the grace of God, our Father-in-law will be ministering to us again this coming Sunday. And we are believing God that by the upper Sunday, according to the word of the Lord, spoken to our Father and the Lord, we will be meeting again in another two weeks' time in our various parishes, Amen. God helping us. Because the Lord has promised and he will fulfill his word. None of his word will fall to the ground Amen. without being fulfilled in the name of Jesus. In the meantime, I appeal to you, please keep safe. Maintain social distancing. Maintain a high level of hygiene. Wash your hands with soap often. Make sure you use sanitizers. Use mouth, uh, masks when you need to go out, especially for those who have to go out. We pray that the Almighty God will continue to watch over every one of us and our family members in the name of Jesus. And please be your brother's keeper. Put a call through to somebody. Encourage somebody. Fellowship leaders, 
always call your members. HODs, call members of your department. Send them to those who are in need among them. The little you can do, let us do. This is time for, for the world to know the difference between those who really care and those who don't care. Let us show love sincerely. Let us show love genuinely. The little you have, you can share with somebody who is less privileged than you are. And the Almighty God will bless you. He will increase you. He will enlarge your coast. Even we not come near your home. Your life will be full of testimonies. In the name of Jesus. During this period of God, we open your eyes. New opportunities will come your way. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We appreciate you. Be thou glorified, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. For we pray in Jesus' name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And I say to you, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you.